This is a how-to video for the TOSI license plate relocation bracket with some Kerkan signals. As you can see, it just mounts right underneath the tank. And it's also slotted, so you can position your plate high or low, depending on your state. As far as, far as the harness goes, we have the main harness that comes from the mud flap that normally would be back there. And then this harness here is the harness that's inside that little mud flap. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to route the left and right signals underneath the tank here and here. Um, to do that, you move this bracket and you move this bracket. And as you can see, the tank actually moves up and down and allows you enough room to slide the wires right through here. As for the turn signals, um, I had these previously, so I'm just going to reuse them. You can see how small they are. Here are your left and right signal wires. These are the OEM wires. So you just cut it about halfway through the harness on the OEM side. So if you ever do want to put it back to stock, you can just solder or crimp these back onto your stock uh, turn signals. You have your left and your right. Um, they are different. And as far as the turn signals, um, if I was doing this over again from scratch, I would use more of this wire. As you can see, Kerrican gives you more than enough wire to run this signal pretty much wherever you need to run it. It also comes with crimp connectors and uh, heat shrink, but I'm going to use solder and my own heat shrink to put these two back together. As far as mountain signals, Kirkhan does make really good, nice, cheap brackets for this exact application, but I lost them, so I fab these up really quick. They'll basically screw right on the back of this screw here, a nice little 90 degree angle, and then that's where the signal will go. All right, here I'm gonna install the, uh, the left-hand side. As you can see, the wires are color-coded. The black is the ground as usual, and then the colored wire is the positive. For the Kellerman, the positive is gray, and the negative is black. And then for the left side of the Indian, the positive is blue, and the negative is black. As far as the right side, the positive is green, and the negative is black. All right, here we go. They're soldered together. Put two individual pieces of heat shrink over each connection, and then use a larger piece of heat shrink to cover up the whole entire thing. It'll make it nice and uh, durable as it's going through the fender. So there you go. You have your signal here with your nut on it and your bracket, then your whole harness. Now this is going to plug right in and be very simple. There you have it. Left and right turn signal harnesses and brackets ready to be installed. Time to double check to make sure left is left, right is right, all the wiring is good, four ways work. The nice thing about these signals is they're truly plug and play as far as the wiring goes because there are no resistors needed for the FTR with these uh, little Kellerman bullet signals. This is how I ran the wires up. So you take the plug, stick it right up under here. And when you lift the gas tank up, you actually fit the plug right through there. And you pull the plug and you kind of run it right along here. Here's your plug, look down here, here's the wire, and right there's our signal. So no matter where you want to put this plate, you'll have plenty of wire to move your signal up and down. Or if you decide to change it, it's very easy to get some slack up here. All right, so we have our left and our right signal coming up. As you can see it comes down, the wire is nice and hidden under here, goes right to our signal there. Um, I actually put the license plate on the very top hole. It depends on how your local cops are, but as you can see it's easily viewable. It still sits above the back tire, the back tire is not blocking it. Um, and then this side also goes through here, right up in here. Zip tight everything nice and tight under here, which will sit under that bracket. All right, all buttoned up. These are the two tank bolts removed. You remove this bracket and you remove this bracket um, to move the tank. You put everything back together when you're done. As you can see, there's no interference with any of the harnesses with the tank bracket. Everything's nice and zip tied, so you'll have no issues with um, putting your seat back on. There is also a third connector on this harness that is for your plate light. You can add a little plate light bolt to this kit if you wanted to. It's the same uh, 
procedure as adding turn signal for your power negative and soldering and running the wire and everything. All right, and here's the final product. Nice and clean, tucked away. Really cleans up the side view of the bike quite a bit. Here are the four ways. Nice and bright.